So we've been talking a lot about REITs lately. Maybe it's time to buy a few. REITs, or Real Estate Investment Trusts, what are they and how can you buy them? Well, the first is not the topic of this video, but if you want to know what REITs are and how they work in detail, check out our other videos after this one. In this video, we're going to take a look at how and where you can buy REITs. To give you an overview, essentially a REIT is a pool of investors that pool their money in a company that specifically buys and holds real estate through various forms in order to collect money from the people and the companies using the real estate. Now, this is the most simple way you can define a REIT. So once again, if you're intrigued and want to know more about REITs, pause the video here and read this definition by Investopedia or watch our video reads after this video. Now that we got that out of the way, are REITs good investments? Well, a lot of investors think that REITs are a valuable addition to any portfolio. And particularly those that favor dividend investing. REITs generally pay out a he pretty hefty dividend. So for those of you who want some cash flow, this might be it. REITs also tend to be quite safe over time as most companies, like people, try to pay their rent, or they might be in big trouble. <laughs> Meaning that the cash flow of REITs tend to be quite safe, but not always. If you want to know more about the potential risks of REITs, once again, link to our other videos in the description. But if you want a relatively safe way to invest while collecting some dividends at the same time, <laughs> REITs might be a solid option for you. Now where and how do you buy REITs? Hmm. As a new investor that barely knows what a REIT stands for, how can I go about getting a piece of that REIT action? Well, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the Giro to show you how you can buy a few quite famous American REITs. Now, I'm going to be clear here, uh, it's actually easier if you already have a pretty good idea which kind of REITs you are interested in. But once you know which REIT you want to invest in and you have the ticker of that company, it's going to be way simpler. I'm going to show you this in detail later in the video. Now, for total transparency, I also do hold some REITs myself, and I do like them as a form of investing. Currently, I have two REITs in my portfolio, and I'm also going to show you which two I have currently invested into. Now, to start, you need a Jiro account, if you're going to buy them on the Jiro, obviously. Ah. If you don't have the Jiro, but instead you're using another broker, such as eToro or Nordnet, don't worry. The process is going to be pretty much the same for all brokers. Once you have a Digiro account, you just log in. So, once you've logged in and you're on the home screen of Digiro, you can just use the search bar to find any read that is available on Digiro. The easiest way to do this is to know either the ticker or the company name of the read that you want to invest in. Now, for the purposes of this video, I've gathered a short list of some famous reads that I'm going to show you that you can find on Digiro easily. But if you have any suggestions on other REITs we should look into or that other investors might be interested in, please leave a comment down below and tell us the ticker or the name of it. And that way we can find it too. There are other ways to find REITs. Usually you can use resources on the internet. We can provide a link in the comments down below to where you can find some REITs of interest. But for the purposes of this video, we're going to keep to these five just to show you how easy it is to buy them on the Giro once you actually know what the name of the ticker is. But for this video, we're gonna go with these six REITs that I've found. These six REITs are quite famous. So we have a sustainability REIT, Granite, which is a Canadian REIT. We have a medical REIT and two retail focus REITs and one on industrial. So like we discussed in our previous videos, these usually have a certain industry they are focusing on. For instance, STAG focuses on industrial real estate, which it then leases out to industry-focused companies, and then they collect the rents. This is one of the REITs I've invested into. We also have Medical Properties Trust, which is a hospital-focused REIT. But it's really easy to buy a REIT once you've found one you actually want to invest into on the Giro or any other broker. All you have to do is actually select the REIT that you want to buy and then buy it like any regular stock. All the fees are also going to be the same, at least for American REITs, which are the main ones I've invested into right now. So basically on the Giro, you can buy REITs like you would any stock. So this was a quite short video, but I hope you enjoyed this video and found the inspiration to maybe buy a few REITs. I personally actually like them quite a lot myself, since they're both dividend paying and tend to be relatively safe. 
I've actually done quite well with the reeds I've bought so far. They've increased a bit more than I would have expected in this short amount of time. But we'll see where it goes, but I'll definitely keep adding into positions of some of the REITs I've already invested into. But if you enjoyed this video and want to know more about REITs and how they work, don't forget to check out our other videos on them. Links are in the description. We go into way more detail there on how they actually work, the risks, the benefits, all of this. So please check those out, as I didn't cover that much in this video. I just actually wanted to show you that they are quite easy to buy on the Giro once you know the ticker. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and let us know if you found some good reads that you want us to check out. And with that, as always, happy investing, guys.